So this is the week we are moving and I'm actually on my way to Jacksonville now um, to Nathan graduates tomorrow officially he will be done with MOS school and he will be starting his job soon so um, I'm just on my way to go there I have a hotel for tonight and then we are signing our lease on our apartment tomorrow and so either I or Nathan and I will be staying there um, tomorrow night and until we can go back Nathan has to figure out what all has to be done um, we have to figure out what like when we can go get our stuff we're supposed to be moving my brother and sister-in-law are helping us move our stuff this week like this weekend is the plan or I guess technically the beginning of next week because it is a Sunday that we're supposed to be leaving to come back up here but um so yeah I am super excited this week is going to be insane um we have a lot to get done and it's it's just it's gonna be crazy but it's exciting I am I was like sitting at home just waiting to leave I was eating lunch and stuff and packing my car and I Nathan texted me to ask me when I was gonna be up here and or when I would be on the way up there and I was like pretty soon I was like I'm eating lunch and um, then I need to be leaving at some point um, I want to be there at a decent hour um, but I was like I am kind of having an emotional breakdown because I haven't really cried yet I cried a little bit when I was packing my car and I don't know it's not that I am sad because I'm close to my family and I not that I mean we'll still be fairly close like we can take trips and stuff to see each other it's only a five hour drive but that's still five hours and but at the same time it's not that like I don't know I'm excited to to have my own home again and to be living with Nathan again but at the same time I just new stuff scares me just like I don't know the future just scares me and not that it's the future anymore like I mean we're we're here it's just the unknown scares me I guess is a better way to put it um I like having a road map for everything I like having everything exactly planned out I have always been that way and being a military wife not really possible like Life cannot be planned out to a T. Not that life can ever be planned out to a T. And like I always say, if I'm planning something, it's probably going to go the opposite. Um, just because things don't usually go according to my plan. Um, but I can usually always just like see what's going on and I can make a plan for it. Like, I just, that's just how I am. And. I don't know I can't really do that we're signing a lease and I'm not sure about the area I don't know the area well like and so it just I don't know people it just it's scary but it's also really exciting I think most of the emotion that I'm feeling is probably just excitement and my mom and I were talking about that when actually in January when we were going down for Nathan's boot camp graduation Brit sorry guys that was our apartment calling us um just to make sure everything's going smoothly um so what was i saying oh so my mom and i were talking um when when um nathan was graduating boot camp and i i kind of was I felt nervous um, when we were on the way down there because I wasn't familiar with where we were going and things and it was getting dark and I was driving and I had been at work and so I felt like I was nervous and so we were talking about that and my mom was like sometimes it's not nervous.
nervousness. You think it is, but it's more you're anxious for something, and I was like, maybe that's it. And so, wait, like, ever since then, that was four months ago, but ever since then, I'm, I try to recognize the difference between anxiety and, or not, yeah, like, anxiety, but, like, good anxiety, um, if that's possible, um, and being nervous, and so I'm, I think this is kind of, moving up here is kind of all of the above, I think, um, I'm nervous because, I mean, we haven't had to take care of stuff like this in a long time, and, you know, it's new place, new people, I'll have to get a new job, like, I, I'm nervous, but I'm also, Nathan and I will have our own home, and it's kind of weird, I'm driving up through where I have worked for the, since October, and I don't have that job anymore, obviously, since I'm moving, and I'm about to pass where I would turn, where I would get off the freeway to go to work. It's kind of sad, but, um, but yeah, so I think it's, it's a lot of emotions, like, I'm sad to be leaving family and friends, and I was sad to leave my job, I, you know, this is where I know, this is the area I know, and I'm used to, and, but you know, that's not what life's about. Life is about stepping out of your comfort zone, and, and I, I am, I'm comfortable with where I'm at, and I think every time we get comfortable, it's gonna, things happen so that we, we can experience new things, and we can, you know, there can be we can grow, um, because if we're always comfortable, we're not growing, obviously, um, but, yeah, so it's, it's going to be an adventure for sure, we're supposed to be here for two years, and who knows if that'll be the case, who knows, I mean, we could move in six months, we could move in four years, um, who knows if that two years is actually accurate, and we'll be there for two years, but, Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Um, I've also heard some scary things about the apartment we're moving into, and so that's making me nervous, but I think, I think we'll be fine. Um, when I went to look at it, I felt really good about it. Um, Nathan felt good about it. Nathan hasn't seen it yet. I'm excited for Nathan to see it. He also didn't see the... I'm like running into traffic. Um, but he also didn't see the apartment when we lived in Utah, he didn't see that apartment, and, um, so, maybe that's just gonna be the story of our lives, um, but that's okay if it is, he was happy with that apartment, and I'm sure he'll be happy with this, this is much bigger, um, we have three bedrooms, and it's actually a townhome, it's not an apartment, um, pretty much the same thing, I guess, but, um, so, we have three bedrooms, and three bathrooms, or, I don't know if you'd call it three, but we have one full bath, and then two half bathrooms, and I'm going to film and take pictures, I know my in-laws are dying for pictures, my family will see it, so, and eventually my in-laws may too, I don't know, um, or some of them, hopefully, maybe, we'll see, um, but I need to get over. So yeah, I'm going to end it here as of right now because I do need to get over and I'll have to merge onto a busier road. So, um, I should probably stop holding the camera and pay attention to driving. But, um, yeah, so I will keep you guys in the loop. I am hoping to film Nathan's graduation tour. I think that would be awesome. Um, his just the last oorah. Um, so yeah, we'll see if that actually happens. Um, or I may have someone film it. We'll see. But um, yeah, I'll film when I'm further along and if I have more to talk about, I'll talk. But um, so yeah, I will chat with you guys later. Bye. Okay, they're just cleaning up an accident. Oh, that was kind of scary. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. They're out there playing baseball. I feel the desire to play some sport. I don't know why. Um. I also just, like, want to go for a run. Um. Which I am excited because Nathan does not like the idea of me using the gym on base, which I'm fine with. I don't.
shop, so this one has one, which I'm really excited about because I love running, but it is really hard. I mean, it's hard on everyone, but it's hard on my joints. I have bad knees and hips, and um, so it's kind of difficult for me. Um, I still do it, but I still do it, and I love it. But I'm excited to just like throw in other stuff. I've been doing yoga, um, which I've kind of slacked off the last few days just because I've been busy and I haven't had a lot of time. Um, but without the job that I had, um, I am not nearly as active, which is really driving me crazy. Um, like I have, I have a Nike fuel band, and so I have like a goal that I'm supposed to get to. Oh yay, Burga is only in 26 miles. Um, but it still seems, I feel like I'm not going to get there in an hour and 15 minutes. my battery because 
because I really am hoping to film um, Nathan's graduation. I need to get so much better at filming. I, I just, I was watching, um, a vlog that Ellie and Jared did, and they keep saying, they're like, if you, if you want to start vlogging, just do it. There's nothing stopping you. And so, I need to get better at it because I would like to have these memories recorded. I don't really like pictures and things written down aren't the same to me because I have a very vivid memory and so I remember a lot of things and I kind of, I don't know, this may sound really weird, but I kind of like just keeping them in my head because I feel like that preserves them better. <laughs> I don't know, and that probably doesn't make any sense, but I feel like a picture doesn't do memories justice, and that's really, I love pictures, I do, I love them, and I love, like, stories that can come from pictures, and how pictures can just start a conversation, and things like that, but at the same time, I feel like, I don't know, I just, maybe, like, I feel like it's not as special when it's just a picture. That may sound really weird. That makes no sense, but that's just kind of my thought process. Um, but yeah, my husband earlier texted and was asking, or Nathan texted and was asking, um, he was like, where are you? And I was like, somewhere between my mom's and Jacksonville. And he was like, well, yeah, I figured that. Um, I'm glad that Nathan can deal with my sarcastic personality. I don't think many people could. Um, but yeah, I am about to turn, I think. We'll see. I, th I don't know, I need to check the mileage. I think I only have like 50-ish miles, 50-something miles to go which is great. Um, yeah, probably 50 something because it's 5.08 and I'm supposed to get there around 6.30. So, don't know. Um, I would check that, but it's probably not safe to use a camera and a phone while trying to drive. So I better not, but, um, but yeah, so I am excited for the next couple of days. This light, I think, is always flashing. It says heavy fog area for the next 10 miles. And the light is always flashing. And it's not, I'm going to jinx it and it's going to be foggy today. But it's not foggy. It's never been foggy. But I don't know. Whatever. Random. Random thought. Um... But traveling this long makes me feel really gross and like I need a shower, which is weird. And you're probably not, I don't know what you were just seeing. But, um, yeah, I'm making my first turn. You can probably hear my obnoxious blinker, actually. So that's wonderful. Um, yeah just made my first turn so I am one step closer um which I am excited about and then there's I'm kind of excited to see it's weird what you want to see on your like road trips because they've been doing they've been redoing this bridge up here or maybe it's I don't know how far away it is I feel like there's something on my nose but they've been redoing this bridge ever since I started coming up to Jacksonville in February. And so, every time I'm, like, excited to see the progress that they've made on it, which is probably really weird. And it rained a lot here. We, there was, like, a hurricane or a tropical storm or something on the coast, which Jacksonville is being slammed with. And the ditch is totally full we got like nothing of it um we I don't even think we got any rain it was cloudy but 
but I don't think it ever actually like rained. Um, but yeah, my hands probably maybe 